Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So we're going to be doing a ranking video and it's going to be ranking all 16 carnivores from worst to best in my opinion. The last time we did a video like this was literally a year ago to this date and that's back when there was 13 carnivores and I ranked them from worst to best and you guys have been begging me to do an updated video on it because obviously there's been a lot of changes between last year and now. Also I'm trying something new in this video and I'm adding subtitles to the video if you guys like seeing the subtitles let me know when I will use them for all future videos if you guys don't like the subtitles then I will take them out for future videos just let me know your opinions on it I'm just trying something new so like I said before this list is just my opinion so whether you agree or disagree I would love to hear your opinions in the comments below coming in at number 16 who I think is one of the worst creatures in the game is the Kaiweki the Kaiweki was the first official aquatic to get released into the game but there's a reason why you don't see a lot of these things swimming around for one the aquatic scene is very dead especially in official servers which most of the time leaves the water looking like this pretty empty and unless you're on Gondwa he can be really boring to travel with as well coming in at number 15 we have the Elio Ramis who has the lowest amount of HP in the game at 400 Literally, Akanto has more health than the Alio Ramis. But I guess on the plus side, he is the second fastest official dino in the game. So he is really, really good, especially if you do a speed build. He has decent stamina. He has these short little hops that he can do. But when it comes to PvP or fighting, I feel like they're very flimsy. Um, they're mostly used for like scouting dinos, maybe. With a very average moveset as well. He doesn't really have anything that stands out to make him a lot more fun or better, in my opinion. Coming in at number 14, we have the Thalasso. Now, I personally love the Thalasso. I think he is very fun to just travel with. He is can be fun to PvP with, but the PvP is kind of hard sometimes where you can accidentally get yourself trampled, uh, which is kind of frustrating. But you can do dives like this and fly even faster. He also is semi-aquatic, which means he could swim in water really good. So he's good in a lot of ways and very useful. Now, the reason I ranked him so low on the list is because compared to the other dinos, I don't think he's considered better than them but just because I put him this low doesn't mean he's bad either I'm telling you right now he is still very good very fun and useful I love the Delasso coming in at number 13 the Allosaurus and the Allosaurus has not been shown love since he's been released into the game I feel like they just kept him the same never really made him better the only thing I can remember is that they nerfed his speed he used to be a little bit faster and now they made him a little bit slower which is a shame I feel like he should have been a dinosaur that people fear but instead he's just free snack for anybody Coming in at number 12, we have the Latin. Now, the Latin is good because he's one of the fastest dinosaurs in the game. He has extremely low combat weight, which means he barely takes any fall damage. And they're just very fun to use with really good stamina. Now, the reason I put them above the other ones is because the Latin is getting a new pouncing ability where he can actually go and latch on to other dinosaurs, draining their stamina or their HP and make it a lot more fun. You can even latch on to like the lassos and have them fly you across the map. This will be perfect if you have people in your group that are flyers you can really latch on to your own teammates and they can pretty much travel for you a lot faster which is really really cool and then coming in at number 11 we have the Deinonychus and literally for the same exact reasons as the Latin he's pretty much getting a pouncing ability as well and because he's very fast he's very jumps very high uh, very good stamina all the same reasons as the previous dino so yeah definitely uh, it's gonna be one to look out for and then for number 10 we have the concave now the concave has always been a mid-tier decent dino you know nothing crazy I think what really makes him a lot better is the fact that he can be semi aquatic and he does have some abilities that can help him in the water so that'd be good he's good for fighting on land especially in packs these things could bleed you out in no time but the fact that they can go in water whether they're chasing or escaping you is insane so definitely uh, something to look out for and I love the conks and then at number nine we have the Metri now after the next update the Metri will be getting a total rework of all of his abilities he will no longer be considered a venom dinosaur which means all the attacks you see right now like venom bite venom strikes this will all be gone and replaced with a regular bite attack and Instead, he's going to be getting some healing abilities that will be able to heal himself or heal his teammates a lot faster. So they're replacing the Venom with basically healing calls. And at first I was all for it, but then I'm thinking like, did they ruin the Metri? I mean, he's supposed to have Venom. I feel like that's the whole look of him. That's how he's supposed to be. You take that away, the only other dinosaur that's going to have Venom is the Meg. Coming in at number 8, we have the Serato. Serato's always been a decent dino, especially in groups. These things can be very deadly. The reason I put him so high up on the list is because he is getting a lot of different abilities within the next update that I think would make him a lot better. For one, he's getting a thrashing ability, which will be a powerful bite attack. He's also gaining an ability where he 
he gets 3% increased damage when he's in a group with other medium-sized carnivores. He's getting a new kicking attack, which does medium damage. He's getting armored tail, which means he'll take less damage when he's getting bit from the back. And he's getting a shove ability, where he actually lunge forward and shove another dinosaur. The only downfall is they're going to be removing his leaping ability and disabling his survivalist ability as well. Coming in at number 7, we have the Dasp. Now, the Dasp has always been in an iffy spot. He's been really OP when he got released, and then he pretty much nerfed him to the ground, and now they're making him a lot better than what he used to be. And recently, he's been a solid dino after the last few updates. And with the next update coming out, he will be getting an Armored Piercing Bite. This is where he can bite through any dinosaur's armor, ignoring it completely, and combat weight will not play a factor. So you could bite a T-Rex and still do a lot more damage than you would do with your regular move because it's going to be ignoring the combat weight difference. Coming in at number 6, we have the Meg. Like you guys know, if you see my other videos, you know the Meg is one of my favorite dinos to play as. Very fun. I love the way he looks, and he's just good in so many ways. Not only the fact that he can apply Venom, but the fact that he's very fast and evasive. He's very good for, like, nighttime attacks as well. It's because he has an ability where he gains 15% increased stamina regen during the nighttime. Now, these things are already a nuisance to go against during the daytime or any time of day, but at nighttime when you can barely see them, and if you're in a map with, like, bushy areas... Oh man, these things are very, very deadly. And they're also semi-aquatic as well. They can definitely be good for going in water. You could dive underwater. You could swim fast with them across the lakes. So they, they're good in multiple ways and just very, very fun. And then now we're in the top five and we have the T-Rex. Now the T-Rex has always been in an iffy spot. You guys know it got nerfed from 1,000 health to 800 health and from 7,000 combat weight to 6,500 combat weight. So they really try to bring my boy down and he has been trashed for the last few updates. But the reason I'm putting him in a top five is because after the next update I feel like he would be a slightly better than what he is now. So he's gonna be getting a lone hunter ability which gives him a 10% increase in attack damage when he's not in a group. So if you're a solo Rex player like a lot of you are you're gonna do 10% more damage. You're gonna be getting a stomp attack with the area of effect radius which means any of those ankle biters that try to get behind you underneath your tail and you can't hit them you can stomp on them and do some damage. And he will be getting a face tanking ability as well. This is where if you face tank another dinosaur which means if you fight them head to head you take 30 percent reduced damage to your head neck and chest all of these will make the rex a better fighter in pvp situations and i feel like that's the first step to get him on back on the right track of being one of the most dominating forces in the game and then at number four we have the sarco now normally i was going to put the sarco way lower on this list because he's been through it you know they nerfed his hp in half he has 480 max health which is like one of the lowest healths in the game but because of the next update, he will be getting a new grabbing ability where he can grab other dinos in his mouth and pretty much drag them anywhere he wants, in the water or around the land. And I covered this in a separate video if you guys want to go check that out to see how it looks. And when it comes to the grabbing ability, you'll be able to grab anything, but combat weight does play a factor. So obviously you're not going to be able to like grab a T-Rex or something, but you might be able to grab them when they're babies. So whether it's like an adolescent Spino or adolescent Rex, you can grab them in your mouth and still drag them around. It's just once they get adult, then you won't be able to do that no more. Now I never thought I'd say this, but coming in at number three, we have the Picno. Now, I read your guys' comments, and I read you guys say the Pycno is definitely very good. You feel like people overlook him, and he's obviously one of the best dinosaurs in the game. Now, after further more research and gameplay with him, I kind of agree. He definitely deserves to be in top 5, and that's why I put him here. The Pycno is very fast. He has a decent moveset. He also has the Lone Hunter ability, which you gain 10% increased attack damage when you're playing solo. He has Long Distance Runner, which can reduce his stamina drain. And this guy's a runner, so you definitely want to have as much stamina as you can. And he will be getting a new voice call called Bulldoze. This will boost his knockback by 25% for 30 seconds for you and all of your group members. So if you have multiple Picnos in your group and you activate that, your knockback is going to be insane. You're going to be knocking dinosaurs left and right like ping pong balls. Coming in at number two, we have the Spino. Now, the Spino has been improved a little bit. He has way better turning radius than he had before, especially when it comes on land. He now has the highest amount of HP in the carnivore category with 1,000 max health, and he's still has 6500 combat weight now within the next update they will be removing his crushing bite which was pretty much his highest damaging move that did up to 170 damage and they're also removing the bleed from his claw attacks as well which i don't know why the hell they're doing that but they are giving him a webbed claws ability which increases his swim speed and swim turning speed by 10 percent 
They're also giving him Lone Survivor, which gives him 10% armor increased and increased maneuverability when he's not in a group. They're also giving him Drenched Blows, which deals 10% increased damage to wet targets. And they're also giving him a Stomping ability, which causes damage in an area of effect radius. Similar to the T-Rex, where if those ankle biters try to get underneath you, you can still try to stomp them out. And I'm assuming because of the Drenched Blows that deals 10% increased damage to wet targets, that's probably why they got rid of the Crushing Bite, because the Crushing Bite will do an insane amount of damage if you do 10% damage on top of the 170 that the charge bike can do. My opinion though, they should have just kept that in, made him an absolute unit, and the Spino would have been one of the best dinos in the game. Coming in at number 1, we have the Suko. Now I never thought I would put the Suko number 1 on any of my rank list. Especially when he first came out, uh, I thought he was just horrible, one of the probably worst dinosaurs in the game compared to the other semi-aquatics. I feel like the other semi-aquatics just destroyed him every chance they got. But because of the last few updates, they actually made him a lot better. Not only did the update his look to make him look more intimidating, they give him a lot of better abilities. For one, he has Drenched Blows, which deals 10% increased damage to wet targets. He has a Claw Attack that does high damage. And he will be getting a few new abilities within the next update as well. He's also getting a Stomping Attack, similar to the T-Rex and the Spino. He's also getting Webbed Claws, which will increase his Swim Speed and Swim Turn Radius. He's getting a Lone Hunter ability, which is where he gains 10% increased attack damage when he's not in a group. And he's getting Claw Barrage, which is a quick claw attack that increases within each hit which basically means you just claw them repeatedly and after each claw it will do more and more damage we will do further testing on that when they release it and guys that is my ranking for all of the carnivores in the game i would love to hear your opinions down below of your ranking for every dinosaur if you guys want me to do this type of video but for all the herbivores let me know in the comments as well and hit that thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more